thing. I couldn't talk about it to anyone. I couldn't tell like my, I'm on the mass singer, you know, I couldn't tell anyone. So that was like really hard because I was so excited about it to not be able to talk about it. Um, and, you know, we filmed the Roni legacy coming up um, and that's, that'll be out in December. And, um, and then, you know, uh, Crappy Lake is still airing on Peacock. So I got a lot of balls in the air and it's all very exciting. And I find time right now I'm at home in the Hamptons with my daughter, you know, so it's the, the minute I have any time off, I'm, I spend it with my kids and, you know, thank God we have Thanksgiving coming up. And before that, you know, I'm in, oh my God, I'm in uh, New Orleans on the 18th of November, uh, Houston on the 19th, Chicago. I have dates the beginning of December at the Park West theater and then i'm in atlanta so i've got a lot of dates coming up um and then i'm off for the holidays and then you're right you're in st louis you're canada and then you're finishing up the year at 54 oh below. that's right yeah i'm doing calgary i just added a couple dates calgary and edmonton uh in canada and st louis which i'm so excited about because st louis is right near crappy lake it is which yes. of your, once this is announced to the world, which of your Roni legacy co-stars do you think is going to be the most shocked that you are hibiscus? Um, who's going to be the most shocked? I think they'll all be kind of shocked, you know? Um, well, some more than others, I would suppose. But uh, um, yeah, I think they're, I think they'll be excited for me. I mean, look, none of them have a cabaret, but you know, if the Fox executives called you and said, listen, Luann, who do you recommend from this legacy cast? We're going to go after one of them for the mass Singer. Who do you think could be next in line? Well, Sonia Rita. <laughs> Sonia Rita would be great. She would be great in a costume on the mass Singer, right? Yeah. I mean, she's, she's such a clown and so much fun. I think she'd have so much fun with that. What about your casting? You know, you're going to see this weekend, you know, BravoCon, you're going to see Kelly and Dorinda and Sonia and Kristen. Like, are you, you're so busy traveling with a cabaret and doing everything. Are you excited to catch up with your Roni legacy girls? <laughs> oh yeah. I'm always excited to see the girls. We already have dinner plans. Mm. We have, we have dinner plans. I'm excited to see all the other housewives. Cause I know a lot of the girls from across the franchise. I'm excited to meet captain Jason from below deck who has um, expressed some interest in meeting me. So that's exciting. Speaking of reigning men. <laughs> Speaking of reigning men, you know, I'm telling you, if you spend just a minute on his Instagram, you are definitely going to want to meet Captain Jason. <laughs> well, I'm putting it out there. I'm going to meet him, meet him while I'm over there, I, I, I imagine. Listen, you could have dinner with the Roni girls and you could have, you know, an after dinner drink with Captain Jason. Well, yeah. Well, and there's a party on Saturday night. So I think a lot of the Bravo talent is going to that. Yeah. See, that's good. And you think for mm -hmm. Roni legacy, because people ask me every day, we're still looking at December. You think December is going to be real? I think it's still happening. I, I can't see why not. And, um, and, you know, I, and I always say like, we should do another trip. I think the Roni OGs need to go on below deck. I think you guys... Deck be above deck and you know maybe we can you know maybe jill zaron will pop in for below deck you exactly know. exactly we can invite alex mccord possibly <laughs> yeah sure yeah tinsley mortimer maybe after she gets married after she gets married well that's what we were saying you know 2024 listen tinsley is engaged kelly ben simone is engaged ramona has yes. a new boyfriend 2024 is right. your year luann yes yes i i'm manifesting it for both of us david would you ever, you know, now that you've done The Masked Singer, there's so much more reality TV out there. Would you ever do The Bachelorette? Speaking of meeting men and it's rating men, a la The Masked Singer. Oh my God. Well, look at look at how well The Golden Bachelor is doing. I think they definitely, they could, you know, Bravo could really find me a man. I mean, come on. I put in some, some years with them. It's the least they can do. <laughs> it is the least they can do. The Golden Bachelor is killing it. It's killing it in ratings. People are loving it. So perhaps... Andy Cohn, hello, is this microphone on? Perhaps we can have like a Bravo dating show where we can, you know, have a house of men for you, Luann. Well, you know, I've heard there's talk going on about something going on. Interesting. Well, listen, <laughs> then don't go off and fall in love with Captain Jason this weekend just yet. Well, he lives in Australia, so that's going to be a very long distance relationship. It will be very long distance. Well, speaking of cabaret, after you finish out this year, you now have your first date for your new show, Mary F. Kill, next year, 216 at the Wiltern in LA. 
Oh my God. I'm so excited about that show. You know, the inspiration for that came from really my Q and A with the audience. Cause I always get asked every single show I get asked, who would you marry? Who would you have? And who would you kill? So um, that really was my inspiration. I've already written a song with Bruce Roberts, um, who's an amazing producer. And so, yeah, I'm excited about that. And the, the, the new tour and starting off in, uh, in uh, the Wiltern and in February 16th and, and then going off to uh, Europe. I, I, I got a um, pride festival, pride festival in June wow. uh, in, in England. So in London. So I'm really excited about that. Wow. That's major. Well, I spend all winter at my LA place. So I've already texted a friend to say we're going, so we will be there on the 16th. Oh, amazing. Amazing. I How, love you, darling. <laughs> I love you too. How is Mary yeah. F. Kill going to be different than other iterations of their cabaret? Just from people that have been to so many shows. Well, you know what? It is uh, going to be totally different because it's really about, you know, that topic of marrying effing <laughs> who we, we can live without. Right. So so the stories revolve around that. The music revolves around that. So it's always a new show like this leg of the tour that I'm on right now this fall. You know, um, it, it revolves around Crappy Lake more than it did than it did, you know, previously about Housewives. And, you know, it's really pop culture meets cabaret, you know, meets comedy. And um, and the shows are always different. And so I, I want to bring a different flavor every time I, you know, I do a new show. So. Well, you know, maybe you'll have to work some hibiscus, it's raining men into this new, you know, Mary F. Kill, that kind of goes with it's it's raining men. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yeah, that was a great experience for me. So of course I have to talk about that you know, for the new, for the new show. So I'm, I'm excited and I'm excited to be back at the Wilter. And that's, you know, I did one of my first shows at the Wilter and which was amazing. It was a packed house and there was just so much love in that room. And, um, and so, yeah, very exciting. Speaking of Mary F. Kill out of your legacy co-stars, I'm going to even give you five choices, Dorinda, Sonia, Ramona, Kelly, Ben Simone, and Kristen, who would you marry? Who would you F and who would you kill? Well, listen, I think, uh, I think I'd probably marry Dorinda. Why would you marry Dorinda? To, I'm going to have to, well, because I feel Dorinda's very solid and, you know, a, a good woman and honest, and she's got a house in the Berkshires <laughs> and uh, Bluestone Manor. Uh, and I'm going to have to F Sonia because Sonia would be really upset because she, whenever Sonia has a little cocktail or two, she comes running to me um, and kill. I, you know, there's nobody I would really kill off. Although, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to plead the fifth on that one. <clears throat> we'll just plead the fifth on that one here today. <laughs> Before we move on, what about your pirate, Tom, 